Hey guys, it's me, JB, and it is Friday, and this is not girl chat. This is actually week 30 of Living Out 52. It has been a crazy week, and right now I actually be, should be filming my girl chat, and I have to skip it this week because life. And um, I actually think now I'm on the tail end of my sinuses. Um, a friend of mine told me, you know, like, when it starts to get, like, really bad and you just cannot handle it, usually that's, like, when you're getting towards the end. Like, it gets really bad before it, like, gets better. And so it's been raining. So I'm hoping, like, I'm over it. So um, not much makeup. Don't care. Just going natural. Just going with it. Um, but we're going to be going back to week four. And this one I really, really need right now because I need to do this. But week four, our verse was from James 1, 2, 3, 2, through four. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. And that's from James 1, 2 through 4. Live in perseverance. Yes, I need to do that lately because this right here, all I want to do is sleep. So I'm like, okay, yes, I need this. So this one is, gosh, this is the one that like some days you are on it. You are on fire with perseverance. And then some days you are just like, screw perseverance. I'm going to take a nap. Lately, I've been in the screw perseverance. I'm going to take a nap. But um, there, are, there are a few questions that come to my mind when um, I think about this subject. And so we are digging deeper. So I'm going to ask my question. So my first question is, where are you lacking perseverance? Now, I've noticed with me sometimes, excuse the idiots outside who apparently feel like they need to rub, rev their engines. But um, um, sometimes I feel like I am lacking perseverance in certain areas. Usually I've noticed this when um, like I'll have a new idea of something I want to do for business and I'll start like my game plan and it's like I can get started but getting through it like persevering and just like hitting a rough spot and then you know like working it through sometimes I will just stop and then I'll let a good ideal die because I couldn't just push myself through it um, and that is that is a place sometimes that I like especially if I hit a wall and I'll like try again and then I'm like, oh, maybe that just wasn't a good idea. But sometimes you just have to hit that wall and you just have to keep hitting that wall and try to push that wall over. And sometimes that's usually a place that I've noticed that I will get it because I, I'm one of those people that, you know, it's like, okay, I'm okay with failing, but if you work out everything and you have a least likely chance of failing, that's where I want to be. I want to be at the least likely chance of failing. And so sometimes you don't start something because if I don't start something that's not exactly great, and then there's no way that it can fail because I didn't start it. So I've noticed with me, ideas will sometimes die with me because of that. So that's one place that I know. So it's just recognizing those places where you lack perseverance. And then when you do, what can you do to keep yourself going? So I know when I have like a big idea and I have a feeling that I'm going to hit a hard spot, I will tell, and I'm very particular about who I tell. I will tell a friend that I know is good and who will uplift me and who will remind me to keep myself on goal. And it's just someone that's like, hey, you know, you told me about this idea you had. How's that going? And they're not like hounding me and they're not like making me feel bad, but they're just there as like a little like, hey, like a little accountability to kind of help me to push through. Um, with some things, I'm able to do this for myself. Sometimes I'm just able to be like, yes, I am going to do this. You know, I got this. God's going to work through me, you know, and I can I can use myself to keep myself going. But there's some things I know that I need a little bit more I need that outside force that friend um, that person that knows you loves you and has a good heart to kind of just help you along on your journey so here we are live in perseverance going 
deeper. So think about those things. Where are you lacking those perse that perseverance? And what can you do to help yourself to keep going so that when you get to those points, you already have that strategy in place of that, okay, this is what I need to do to keep myself going. Do I need to give myself a pep talk? Do I need to have someone else give me a pep talk? Do I need to plaster scriptures everywhere? Which is great because I have those on my goal, goal board. I have like my raw, raw get going um, scriptures on my goal board with all my goals that are on it for that year. And I have my little scriptures and then the goals that I've reached for those years, I highlight them in pink. It's cause you know, when I like pink, but it's also just a little like, okay, you did this. Now, what makes you think you can't do this? You can do this. You've done these other things. You can do it. And that kind of also helps to give me like a little, yeah, like that motivation. So it's week 30. So we are going to live in perseverance, going a little bit deeper. So we are living at peace, in strength, with faith, with faith and in perseverance. So I promise y'all that soon I am going to be better and I'm going to be 100% and I'm going to be on it. I know it. I am taking my allergy pills on schedule, but some days I feel like they just don't work. Ragweed is not my friend. But anyway, until next time, live in perseverance and let's just go a little deeper.